So let's go ahead and talk about the STAD Pro Physical Modeler because we will be using that today. Now, if you don't typically use a physical model in your workflow, then this definition of what it is would be for you. So the physical modeler is used to model your structure in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using physical members. This is in contrast to your traditional way of modeling in STAD Pro, which would be using analytical members. There's basically segmented members with members, nodes, and plates, okay? So the physical model is used to draw structural elements as they are physically constructed. The program will then decompose this into an analytical model, which is then passed to the STAD Pro analysis and design engine when you run your model. Now, how are we gonna use all these products together? Because I mean, I just mentioned two products. I just mentioned STAD Pro Physical Modeler and STAD Pro Analytical Modeler. They're not actually two separate products. They're one product, just two different modes within the program. And we're also going to be talking a little bit about STAD RCDC. So when I talk about any of these programs, where we're gonna be basically using either different modes or different um, programs is let's go ahead and also talk about the overall workflow. What tasks are you going to be um, addressing in different areas of the program? So we're talking about STAD Pro Connect Edition. Now, when you download STAD Pro Connect Edition, the physical modeler and the analytical modeler will be installed, and also STAD RCDC um, will also be installed. So what am I going to accomplish in each area of the program, and how does that accomplish my overall workflow of getting to a stable, um, finished design? So we're going to talk about the physical modeler. And that's where we're going to be spending most of our time really today. So in the physical modeler, you're going to model your structural geometry. That'll include assigning properties, specifications, and also materials properties. You're going to find all your load cases and load combinations. This would include things like seismic load, wind load, and general load cases such as self-weight, plate loads, member loads, and so forth. Now, new in STAD Pro Connect Edition, version 22, update 6, we've also added analysis commands into the physical modeler. So you're going to be able to specify all your analysis commands, including a linear elastic analysis, including a P-delta analysis, including a direct analysis, including the direct analysis parameters, are all now able to be added in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. And I would basically consider this like all my modeling steps, getting it ready for that analysis. Now, the analysis is still performed on an analytical model. So at the point where you're at in your workflow, where you're done with your analysis commands and you're ready to move on to analysis and possibly design, you're going to then send your model over to the analytical modeler. Now, STAD Pro will be able to decompose that into the analytical elements. You do have some control over that, things like mesh density, how load combinations are created, and so forth. And you're going to be able to perform your analysis. Now, if you're taking it a step further for design, I would recommend two different workflows for design, depending upon what material is your primary focus. And I'm focusing today on this workflow slide on steel and concrete design. If I were performing a steel design, I'd stay in the STAD Pro analytical modeler, assign my design parameters, steel design commands, perform the design, see all the results directly within STAD Pro. Now, if I was working primarily with a concrete system, what I would do is I would perform my analysis in STAD Pro and then transfer my model data over to STAD RCDC, where we can design a variety of different type of concrete elements, including concrete walls, concrete beams, and now newer um, in the program, we're starting to add uh, concrete tank design. Now, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about that tank design a little bit later in this session, including I do have a little short video I'd like to show you of that process. We're focusing mainly today on the modeling portion of this workflow, but there is a design portion that I want you to be aware of that is, is perhaps coming next, okay? So I'll go ahead and give you like a preview of what that overall is going to look like and how you can use what we're doing today to get to a finished design. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start by creating a physical model. Again, this is especially useful for anybody who is a little bit newer to the physical modeling workflow. This will be how you basically start by creating a model. 
Now, before I do that, let's go ahead and talk about some licensing configuration, and I want to talk about updates to the program, okay? What we're going to be doing today is we are going to be using the tank generator within the, or I should call it the structure wizard, within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. Now, the structure wizard within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler does require the structural select entitlement license, okay? Now, there's one piece of information I wanted to add to the resource list, but I uh, did not get that in there. So let me go ahead and show this to you to give you a better idea about structural select entitlements. So if you go to Bentley Communities and go to the Ram and Stad forum, which I believe there's a link in, to that in the resource list, you're going to go to the wiki area. If you go down to Stad Pro, you're going to find structural select entitlements. This will give you a very good idea about what is available or what is requiring a select uh, entitlement to see if that's something that, that you are going to, to need or want for your workflows. So I do want to go ahead and point that out. As you can see here, I have my license already activated. If you need to activate a license, you can come up here to your license area and you can go ahead and access your license. If you make any changes to that, STAD Pro will reboot itself to make sure those changes are incorporated. Okay, let's also go ahead and talk about versioning because there are a lot of enhancements that have been happening in version 22 for the physical model. And I wanna make sure everybody's running the latest version so that you can take advantage of those new tools. So if I go to the help area, I'm gonna go to about, STAD Pro, I'll be able to see what version I'm running. The way we use our nomenclature in STAD Pro is I usually would say STAD Pro Connect Edition. I would call this version 22, and then the next two numbers are your update. I'm running update six, which is the current release of STAD Pro. Now, the structure wizard that we're going to be showing to you today is only available in update six. Okay, so just letting you know that if this tool is something that you want to incorporate in your workflow, I'm going to strongly encourage that you update to this latest version. In addition to that, within um, if you are running previous versions of STAD Pro Connect Edition, it is important to know that I believe in update two and also in update three, there were some enhancements specifically for plate structures or what we would call surfaces in STAD Pro Connect Edition that you may want if you are using the physical modeler in your workflow and you are drawing a lot of like surface or plate type models. This would include a lot of different loading configurations. We added regions and different types of openings um, that are available in um, at least update two and update three um, of the product. So you definitely want to stay on board with the latest version of the product, especially if you're using the physical modeler because changes are happening pretty quickly with that one. Now, if you ever want to know about like what is happening, what's new in STAD Pro, if you go to your contents area, this will bring you to the help file. You can go to the what's new, and we are very clear about spelling out all the updates that are available. So here, um, Connect Edition version 22, update 6. I typically look for the one that says preprocessor. That typically refers to the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. And you can see all these additional um, options that were added. We'll go ahead and discuss a few of those in, in detail. So now at this point in my workflow, I'm going to create a new model. I'm gonna create a new physical model. So I'm gonna come up here and say new. I'm running a physical model. I'm gonna call mine tank. So I need to make sure that I select physical model at the time that I'm creating my system. There's no way to kind of take an analytical model and ask the program to automatically make it a physical model. You could do it the other way, but not this way. So we wanna make sure that we tell the program we're doing a physical model, this is where we wanna start, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and create a new model. It's gonna send me into STAD Pro, but not just STAD Pro, it's actually gonna send me all the way over to the physical modeler. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.